Hey, it's John going to play Immaculate Grid, and I am playing grid number 524, which I'm going to play in honor of Ken Griffey Jr., who had 524 career doubles, one of my favorite players of all time, and he usually works on some of these uh, Saturday-style no-team grids, assuming that's what it is. It isn't always that way on Saturdays, but he hits the gold glove, he hits silver slugger, he hits MVP, he works in a number of categories, obviously a bunch of home runs, so let's see if we can work Ken Griffey Jr. into this Saturday edition and then on the rarity round i think i'm gonna go i'm gonna try for all brewers again we'll see if it's possible i'll probably be able to make that assessment pretty early on gonna share my screen and see this would have been yesterday's probably timed grid gonna hit refresh hit go and away we go let's get griffey in all right all the way that's easy let's get him here actually he actually works for all of them i think well, not that one, <laughs> not the left column. All right, now that that's out of the way, um, let's get McGuire will work, Bonds will work, Randy Johnson will work. Let's get uh, Koufax over here. Hall of Fame, 100 RBI season, how about Babe Ruth? Um, let's see here. We'll get Verlander for 200 strikeouts. Miguel Cabrera over here. And we'll close with Albert Pujols. All right. Got that pretty quick. 51 seconds with a rarity of 59. Got to use Ken Griffey Jr. He would have worked for all of these. Um, so it was 3% there. Um, Yes, Verlander was the big one at, at uh, MVP, 200 strikeouts. Um, pretty sure no Brewer is going to work there. <laughs> I, I was just thinking about it. It's like, I don't think, you know, there was no way Raleigh, he, Raleigh Fingers ha, was a starter, but no way he got to 200 Ks. He did get sent to the bullpen after all. Um, not, Sutton was not an MVP. CC Sabathia was not an MVP. So I think. Yeah, you know, I could, I could, I could, I could see about this. The uh, the variable would be actually, does Don Sutton work here? That would be the, that would be the variable, and then I could get eight of nine Brewers. That still seems fun. Let's go for that instead of the low low rarity score. All right, we're gonna go stop share and reshare. The rest of them shouldn't be actually that that hard even to, to get brewers, I don't think. In fact, brewers might be a good strategy for getting a uh <laughs> getting a low rarity. Uh all right, hit and refresh. Let's go for it. All right, 200 strikeouts, being an all-star. Freddie Peralta has now done that. That's a nice low score. 100 RBI playing in an all-star game. Cecil Cooper will work there. Point three. All star, that seems high. All star, 300 plus career home runs. Richie Sexton was on the 2002 All Star team at Miller Park. He takes point two. All right. Hall of Fame, 100 RBI season. I think the optimal way to go there will be Paul Molitor. He was not an MVP. Um, but then I think I might be boxed into going Henry Aaron over here for 8%. And then 300. So, so far, all Brewers, 300 career home runs, and an MVP. I'm pretty sure the only option I've got is Ryan Braun. Uh, that's not true. Dave Parker will work. Let's go Dave Parker. And then MVP, 100 RBI season. Um, Yeah, sure, we can go. Well, we can also go Yelich. 2018, he had 100 RBI. 
All right. And then let's see if we can get one more. This is a little bit of a risk. I don't I know Don Sutton was over 3000 strikeouts, but he also pitched for a long time and you could get there with a bunch of 150 strikeout season. But even that would be 20 years of 150 every year. Let's let's see. He had to have gone there at least once, I think. That's such a long career though. Okay. So now we're at Eight brewers. Uh, there's not going to be a brewer that works for MVP and 200 strikeouts. Um, there's also not going to be a Milwaukee Brave. Warren Spahn, I don't think, ever won an MVP. I'm, I'm thinking in the 50s and even in the 40s. And I don't think there's a Warren Spahn MVP award in there. It's not a Lou Burdett, so we can't go that route. There might be a pitcher from Milwaukee, but not one that I can think of. Um, so pitchers that have won MVPs, Walter Johnson will work. That might actually be the best because, um, strikeout pitchers from days of old aren't, uh, particularly well-known. Hal Newhauser would also, I think, be a good pick. And that's at least a Midwest. I think he did have 200 strikeouts in a season. Uh, Koufax would work. I already used him though. Um, Roger Clemens will work. A lot of the MVPs who won as pitchers, won as uh, uh, were relievers who aren't going to get there. And you get Kershaw and Verlander, like I said. I am going to go with Hal Newshauser. It's all Brewers and Hal Newhauser for, uh, I mean, I can just verify real quick. I only got about half these guys, I think. Fight of Blue, I left out. Bob Gibson, of course. Lefty Grove. I, I, I won't say Lefty Grove, of course. I did not know that for sure. Um, but it's not surprising. Danny McClain got to 200 strikeouts. Shohei Otani, of course. Dazzy Vance, I would not have pegged as necessarily having 200 strikeouts. He's just shy of 200 wins, so... Um, all right. Well, I will take a 14 with eight brewers. Uh, that was the goal here was to get eight. I, I knew at the onset I wasn't going to get a brewer in there. So um, until he comes to Milwaukee, which I don't think Shohei Otani's looking to do. So um, thank you so much for playing and uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow. Peace.